Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if the Wi-Fi icon is grayed out on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in airplane, best match to come back with airplane mode. Go ahead and open that up. And if airplane mode is turned on, you want to go ahead and toggle that to the off position. And that should pretty much be about it for most of you guys, more than likely. So hopefully I was able to resolve the problem. Another thing we can take a look into as well, if you go up in the find a setting field, search for troubleshoot, go ahead and search for that. Select troubleshoot settings, should be one of the results that comes up. And then underneath options, select other troubleshooters. And then underneath the other section, scroll down and select the network adapter troubleshooter and the run button. And then follow along with the on-screen prompts here. So you could do all network adapters. If there's a Wi-Fi connection, I'd recommend selecting that. And then you would select next. And then again, just follow along with the prompts here. If there's a specific website you're having the problem with, but you can just type in a generic one as well if you're still having a problem. Something else we can take a look into, if you open up search, type in CMD, best result, check it back with command prompt, right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now into this elevated command line window, type in IP config space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back a Windows IP configuration successfully flushed the DNS resolver cache. Now you want to go type in NETSH space Winsock, W I N S O C K space reset. Again, exactly how you see it on my screen. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. Go ahead and close out of here and restart your device. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward process. Do a positive to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.